I am Aza Shenafi and I am the Chief uh, Justice of the Federal Supreme Court of Ethiopia. I always believed that promoting justice is my duty and because of the lack of uh, public trust in the judiciary, I decided to take up this position to restore public confidence in the judiciary. My Ethiopia is diverse. My Ethiopia is a symbol of independence for Africa. My Ethiopia is a place of challenges, but also aspiration. Madam Administrator, uh, Mr. Ambassador, uh, Ethiopia is undergoing a very uh, crucial uh, change and uh, transformation, which um, has inspired not only Ethiopian citizens, but the world at large. Transition is always a challenge, whether it's in the judiciary or in the police, prosecution or economy. Transition is transition, and uh, nobody is sure about the outcome of transition. But uh, I want to communicate only about my hope, uh, my aspiration. His womb, for the way to Berkati, if I read Nazi Danuch, Gubanya Danuch, and the Yale met for some years at Tachon. Yer Danuch and Sarah, Danuch and the Bachon Chigil, his womb, my Madame Number Ahungen, in Yamel and Chigil, the Machali Yemoker. I have a friend, he's a very serious lawyer and uh, he works at the United Nations. So when I was appointed, he said, you are just Chief Justice. No, no man or woman. <laughs> I say, well, excuse me, I'm still a woman. <laughs> and, uh, you know, at the end of the day, yes, judges are expected to be impartial. Yes, we have to apply the law. But at the end of the day, if we interpret the law and if we are not able to achieve justice, then we miss the point. The fact that I'm here is, is because of the political moment, <laughs> because uh, uh, I'm not sure if somebody with my level of independence, um, you know, with my background, uh, would be uh, assigned to this position had it not been uh, for the transition and the, the change and uh, the leadership. Today uh, we're going to the Kaliti prison. In particular, we're going to visit uh, women prisoners. As soon as I was appointed, I had visited there. Then uh, I observed what these women incarcerated do with their children and uh, the situation of uh, uh, the kids. And I remember one of the ladies, uh, she was in prison with three kids. And uh, that sort of stuck in my mind. And, uh, you know, uh, that's why I thought we need to do something about this, uh, this, these children, because if they grow up in prison just like that, without any education, without any social exposure, then they are not going to be productive citizens, and uh, that's going, the cycle is going to, to continue. The prison is for both men and women, but of course the majority are men. And then, the man, the man, the man, the 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 Yo, I'm not a comment. 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 I'm not a comment.
ያው ባለፈው ፕሮሚስ ከፍተሽልን ይደሻል ብዙ ነገር እንደምታስተካክይ ነው በማረምና በማነጽ ሂደት በሚገባ ማረሚያ ቤቱ ይያዘመን ይያነጸ ነው እኛም የሕግኔ በላይነት አውቀን በሰላ ነው ወንጀል ተጸጽተ ይቅርታ ጠይቀናል በይቅርታ ዙሪያ ግን ምንም እየተሰራ አይደለም እቶ ኦኬ እቶ ኦኬ አላ አንበ ኦፍ ፎረነስ ኦኬ ዊ ኦስ ፖርደን ሳም ፒፕል አስክ ፓርደን ዴ ጌት ፓርደን አዘ ፒፕል አስክ ፓርደን ዴስ ኖ ፓርደን ቻይና ዩ ቶክ ሚ አ ፍሬንድሺፕ ኢየስ ዶን ዋይ ኖ ጊቭ ሚ ይገታ ያ ይቅርታ ሁሉ እስካሁን ድረስ በቀጠሮ ነበርኩ 5318 አመት ተበረደኩሽ ስንት ልጆች አሉ? እጥናት ሁለት ልጅ ደሞ ማሳድጋቸው አሉ ነው እንደምን እንደምን ሞት ልና እና ዙየት እንደወደቁ ማላቀ ባለቤት ሸት ነው እሱም ክልል ጦር ተባብራቹ ነው ይገደለቱ በሰምተናል አይተናል ሰው አይተናል ያለ ሰው የለም ሰምተናል በሰ ሰበካታብሽ ይግባኝ ነው ይግባኝ ለማለት እዚ ምን አላችሁ ይሄ ገማካሪ አለ አለ አንዷ ባለፈው ሶስት ልጆች ያዘች የት ነው ያለችው ፓስተር ወጣ ተፈቱ በይቅርታ ማለ በይቅርታ ማለ አው ሰናይ ቸነው ነው እንደውም ይሄ ነገር ኦኬ አሁን አይ በቃ ምንድነው እንግዲህ ከ ከዳይሬክተር ጋር ተነጋግረናል አንድ ፕሮጀክት አፍሪካ ቻይልድ ፖሊሲ ፎረም ይባላል አለ በህፃናት ላይ የሚሰሩ ከነሱ ጋር ዩኒሴፍም አስተባብረ ለነዚህ የህፃናት ሞያ ሞያያና ከዛ ደግሞ ትምርት የሚማሩበትን ቦታ ለህፃናቱ ቢዘጋጅ ጥሩ ነው ብለን አስለም ከዚህ ሌላ ሰው አለ ሁለት አመት ሶስት አመት ቆየ ማሽ አው የቆየ ኬስ የቆየ ነሱ ቆይቷል ከአመት በላይ ነው አመት በላይ የቆየ ሚ አምሩ ማላዊ አሎ ሃው አር ዩ ፋይን አንድ ዩ ሚ አም ፎር ማላዊ አይ ሃቭ ባክ ፕሮብሌም ሶ አይ አስክ ኢፍ ዴ ካን አላው ሚ ቱ ጎ ቱ ማይ ካንትሪ ቢኮዝ ሂ አም ኦን ትራንዚት አንቲል ናው ቢኮዝ አይ ዶንት ሃቭ ኤኒዋን ቱ ሄልፕ ሚ ሶ ዋት ኢዝ ዩር ኬስ ማይ ኬስ ኢዝ ድራግ ድራግ ኦል ኦፍ ዩ ያ ኦል ኦፍ አስ ዩስ We are tired. Are you from Malawi? No. no. Me I'm a I'm South African and I have a cancer on my right, on my right, right breast. Can I, can I show you? I'm not scared. No. 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 I can show no. them. Yeah. በባለፈው ጊዜ ተመጋገረን ነበር መተሻናግረሽ ማለት አሁን እኔ ያላባት ልጅ ማሳደግ ሲት በታማ ምስኪን ሲት ነኝ ነገር ግን ማለት ነው የርስ በርስ ጦርነት ማስነሳት ነው ሚሎ ኬዚ እኔ ፖለቲከኛ አይደለም እንደነ ወታደርነሽ አንቺ በፈጹም ሲብል ነኝ everyone has issues and everyone wants to tell their stories thank you but i'm going to but i'm going to examine this is very difficult because uh, my role is uh, very limited in terms of uh, responding to you know all the questions that the women were were raising i have taken the list of people in prison who are still undergoing trial for 2 uh, 3 years i want to know why why their case is delayed because uh, speedy trial is speedy trial is a uh, part of our uh, judicial commitment when i was 15 years old at that time we were under the military government all of us were expected to enroll in the youth association so i was assigned to go to a particular community we were two girls and uh, 14 boys in that setting we were expected to cook for the boys and um, i said no there is no way number one i don't like cooking <laughs> number two it's not my role i am there to teach <laughs> so i refused that and uh, because of that reason and uh, you know my resistance was so transparent and i was even put to to jail i was uh, i was arrested for few days we 
የሰራ ነው የተለያዩ ውጤቶችን የታዩ ነው ህጎች የተለወጡ ነው መራጭ የተለወጡ ነው ነገር ግን ደሞ አሁንም ቢሆን ገና ብዙ ያላሟላናቸው ነገሮች አሉ ህዝቡ ደሞ ውጤት የሚፈልገው ዛሬ ነው ከኛ ውጤት የሚጠብቀው አንደኛ ፍትህ ምንድነው በኢትዮጵያ ፍትህ ስንል ምንድነው ህዝቡ በባህል ረገድ በሃይማኖት ረገድ ፍትህን እንዴት ነው የሚረዳው I was born uh, you know in the rural area 800 kilometers from where I am now when I came to Addis it was the first time for me to have access to a television set or uh, even a running water so it's a long uh, it's a long way and um it's uh, just more than what I have expected uh but what I was uh, sure at that time was that um that I was sure that I wanted to go to college and I was sure that I yeah, do not want to repeat uh the my my mom's life. I I wanted to sort of skip. This is uh, one of my daughters, Menda. <laughs> so I miss her so much. <laughs> so uh now they're uh, in the states. Uh, Sanait is in college and uh, Mena is doing her final year in high school. My mom raised nine kids and I'm the fifth one. <laughs> her life of course represents typically the life of an average Ethiopian mother hmm? who um, try to make the best out of difficult situation and uh, raise kids and uh, send them to school and uh, sacrifice everything basically aw nenya ngidi yesay tamari ayidellena mondochu tamarawal ondemochachin nenya setochu al tamari yeah since she did not have the benefit of education herself always her dream was for us to get educated and uh, she was very keen on that mazat ankarana mazat ankarra lejnat ጎበዝናት አስተማሪዋን ጥያቄ ተጠይቃለች ፍራች አይላትም ጎበዝ ልጅ ነው there is a story that my mom uh, like to tell uh, my older brother uh, was uh, enrolled in school but uh, then kids started harassing him and bullying him then i was young i was still uh, at home but then they decided that i go with him so that i i protect him so <laughs> so it started there anyways it was a case that challenged the culture uh, the girl was abducted and she killed her abductor and uh, we decided to defend her in a court of law it was the first time that an abducted uh, woman resisted the violation of her rights and it was the first time that we we someone took the such a case to the court and uh, defended it and uh, finally uh, assured the, that the girl is acquitted so that sort of uh, impacted um, our work as well as uh, policy legislative reform but also uh, community behavior so this is the first city hall in Ethiopia the first city hall I do surprise visits from time to time and I just want to check how this is uh, being uh, delivered so I talk to the people I talk to the staff I talk to the judges and I try to understand uh, what's going on here Mamrat <laughs> sara ማታ ታምሽ ይበራል ሃሌሉያ 
Okay. They say they even have rats. Rats in this office. <laughs> Judiciary is always a very challenging sector, not only in Ethiopia, but uh, in all the uh, developing countries. It's because uh, we have uh, issues of uh, capacity, uh, capacity of our judges. Uh, we have a lot of cases. We have a lot of cases, especially in countries like ours. We have over 100 million population in the there are many cases coming to court every single day. This is a new building, and this building has 14 chambers like this, which is fantastic uh, for us, uh, because uh, you have seen the other uh, court buildings. They are not convenient, but this is made for uh, purely for the purpose of a judicial service. First floor, and then this comes to Lothian. Lela office, no. Zaula is a bureau, as Raina Darashi. It is a sign of progress because you know, workspace, chambers, and office space for judges has been a key challenge for us. And uh, this is not enough, of course, but this is a good beginning. approached to take the position of the Chief Justice, I was totally surprised. I knew that uh, this is going to be a difficult assignment. There is a lot of expectation from the judiciary. The history of the judiciary in particular and the justice sector in general has not been uh, beautiful. And uh, people expect that to be corrected and they want that change uh, not tomorrow, they want it today. <laughs> the separation of power was a big problem. The civil service was not independent, the judiciary was not independent, and uh, this sort of uh, was a source of our problem, I think, to begin with. As long as we're confident, as long as we believe in ourselves, it shouldn't be a problem to discuss with any branch of the government. But the most important thing is that self-belief and that commitment to establish an independent uh, judiciary. Even before the actual transition, uh, the government made a decision to close down this place and, uh, you know, turn it into something different. And uh, it was very symbolic. The decision that was made at that point almost predicted uh, 
what was about to come in terms of uh, change and the transformation in this country. Something is in you know, Ethiopia was uh, always at the bottom of any human rights report. Uh, one of the major reasons is, you know, the existence of a place like this, uh, where uh, people are arrested, uh, you know, without following the due process of law and uh, also tortured and um, uh, this was uh, this was this was the place i heard about it but uh, i have never been here before it is a place that everybody fears and I'm, I'm lucky because I didn't have any family member or a friend who, who was arrested. Okay. Okay. Yeah? Oh, okay. Huh? So this is for four people. Kabadi, you know, but no way to check it. In my current capacity as a president of the Supreme Court, I have to make sure that uh, this will not happen, like people will not be tortured and uh, due process will be uh, respected uh, in our country in the future. So for me, this is very important because uh, I have to see and understand what has happened so that we make sure that, uh, you know, going forward, uh, we, we follow the, the, the law and uh, we make sure that the rule of law is respected in this country. Every day, my confidence is getting stronger. Also, every day, I understand the depth of the problem, uh, but at the same time, my confidence is um, getting uh, stronger for some reason. For some reason, I don't have the feeling that, uh, you know, I will be overwhelmed and I don't know how to do this, but uh, uh, my, my, my commitment is um, getting uh, even bigger by the day. When I grew up, I grew up during the time of Haile Selassie, and uh, we were also part of the discontented you know, movement students. But now, I think the country has gone through um, many stages, and um, um, you know, uh, the current situation is probably, you know, the, in terms of democracy, you know, and rule of law. Probably this is the the time when you know, the best of time, I would say. I have always been a fighter. I was never stopped by challenges, but I fully appreciate the challenge that the vulnerable groups face in this country. Uh, every step of the way, they have to struggle and they have to look for empathy. But in spite of all that, uh, uh, I'm, I'm quite hopeful about Ethiopia. My Ethiopia is a place of hope. My Ethiopia is a place of hardworking and beautiful women. 
my Ethiopia is the future.